All right, guys, here we go. Let's start practice off right, seven on seven. Offense down here, let's go. Ace, tailback, stack, Z. Z, your other Z. Uh, that's just bad. No, ace, tailback, stack. Ace, chase, for the love of God, son. Too late. God, it's a sucky throw. Serenity now, just serenity now. I'm the head football coach at Pulaski Academy in Little Rock, Arkansas. I call myself a contrarian thinker. There's a lot of contrarian thinkers in the world that have been highly successful. We approach football in a different way. We rarely ever punt and we onside kick after every touchdown. My name is Kevin Kelly. I'm known as the coach who never punts. All right, line it up, let's go. Fourth and three, fourth and three. Know where the line is, let's go, gotta get to it. You know, when I started it, I was just trying to find a way to win. Uh, in my school, I guess in 36 years, they'd been to the semifinals of the state playoffs twice, and we couldn't get past that. Miles, that's incomplete, because you juggled it. You know, I could see it right up in the paper, the news story is, you know, crazy nut job coach going for fourth downs. Zach, you got to make up for it. Hastings isn't here, you got to be the guy. I'm a person that believes that humans make mistakes when they base decisions on emotion. The disruptive moment that's helped make me who I am today was I had a really tough life growing up. I've got a dad that is an alcoholic dad and, uh, you know, I think he loves me. But there was an incident at home that occurred. I reflect on that at least once a day, I would say. And sometimes it makes me sad and sometimes it motivates me and other times I know that it's helped make me who I am. I've always been a numbers person. I, I majored in accounting my first two, probably two and a half years of college when I took over. You know, I thought my job is to help the kids win as many games. And so we started getting inside the game, started asking little things. Why do we eat the way we do? Why is our pregame the way it is? Why do we punt the ball? And I ran across a Harvard professor study that dealt with the numbers and probability of different spots on the field and different values of those. And I realized that people punt the football and they don't need to. Let's say it's fourth down, we start with the football on our own three yard line, and we don't make a first down. The other team's gonna score a touchdown about 92% of the time. If we punt the ball, the net punt's gonna be on average to about the 37 yard line, and they're gonna score a touchdown 77% of the time from that point on the field. That's only a 15% difference. If you add those numbers all together, they'll show you that even in extreme situations, inside your own 10 yard line, you should not punt the football. Where are you going, Cootie? Lord, where are you going? Fourth and six, know where the line is, got to have it, let's go. The kids are the easy ones to convince. They play video games all the time and they never punt in football games on video games. So they were the easy ones to convince. And then when I showed my coaches and they realized that it gave us a better chance to win, they were on board and, and then the rest you kind of don't worry about. When I first realized that other coaches really figured out that this was not a one-time gimmicky thing, that this was a philosophy, I thought that was disruptive. Doing something different just to be different, that can't sustain itself. It has to contribute to winning or it falls by the wayside. And now, in the, since I've been the head coach in 11 years, we've been to the semifinals eight times and been to the finals five times and won three state championships. Oh, no, I didn't ask what you were going to do. I said, why? Because I got tired. Hey, good reason. Y'all get tired, y'all just quit. Finish strong on everything you do. Never quit on anything in your whole life. My kids that are now out in society come back and say is, it helps us try to attack problems differently. Not look at the way necessarily everybody else is doing something, you know. There is some success to be had by going and stealing other ideas, but there's also a lot of success to be had from creating your own answers.